Okay, sorry about that. I ran out of space on my um, SD card. Um, the video was not 30 minutes long yet. Only 20 minutes so far, but I've got to do this last uh, couple examples um, in the second part, so sorry about that. But as I was saying, we want to go row one, column one. So remember that we're, we're starting with H first. This is I'm asking us to go backwards. The first one was GH. So I'm going to start with H first. So my row one is actually two and three. So I'm going to go two times um, one plus three times four. So just to be clear here, we're going row this direction on the H and vertically on the G, okay? So that's why I'm going two times one and three times four, okay? And then my next one is going to be um, still row one, so two times three plus three times negative two. And then my last one is going to be two times negative five plus three times zero. So in this case, I'm going same row, two and three, second column, three, negative two. My last one is same row, two and three, but my last column is negative five and zero. So that's kind of what's happening there. All right, and then we'll do the same thing, but with the second row. So now I'm gonna do negative two, negative eight. So negative two, times one plus negative eight times four and then we're going to do negative two times three sorry um negative two yeah i was right times three plus negative eight times negative two so that's going to be negative two negative eight so negative two negative eight and then row two is three negative two, so three negative two. Over here, I'm gonna still do negative two negative eight, but it's gonna be negative two times negative five, and then negative eight times negative two, sorry, times zero. Okay, so negative two, negative five, negative eight, and zero. And then my last um, column is going, sorry, my last row is going to be row three, which is one and seven, so one times, um, and my last column is um, negative five. Sorry, what am I doing there? Getting all confused now, my bad. Let's erase you, okay. So this one is going to be row three, so row three is one, and then column one is one, and then I've got seven times four, okay? So I've got my one and my seven, my column this way, one and seven, and my, sorry, my row this way, my column is one four. So now I'm going to go same row, so still one, but this time I'm gonna go with column two, which is a three and a negative two. So one times three plus seven times negative two, and lastly we'll go one times negative five and seven times zero. Alrighty, see if I can uh, fit all those numbers in here. Hopefully we can, okay. So this is going to be two, three times four is 12, two times three is six, three times is negative six, this is gonna be negative 10, this is going to be zero, this is gonna be positive 10, this is gonna be zero, this is gonna be zero, this is gonna be negative five, this is gonna be negative 14, this is going to be three, this is going to be negative 6, this is going to be positive 16, this is going to be 1, 7 times 4 is 28, um, this is going to be negative 2, and negative 32. Awesome. So now, 2 and 12 will give us um, 14, 6 and negative 6 will give us 0, and negative 10 and 0 will give us negative 10. So I kind of barely put those in there. A negative 2 and negative 32 will give us negative 34. And then negative 6 and 16 will give us a positive 10. And 10 plus 0 will also give us 10. And on the bottom, 28 and 1 is going to give us 29. 3 minus 14 is going to give us negative 11. And negative 5 and 0 is going to give us negative 5. So there is um, our final answer for um, multiplying h times g. 14, 0, negative 10. Negative 34, 10, 10. 
29, negative 11, and negative 5. Now, what we want you to notice is that you would think that because when you times 2 and 3, like 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 2 is 6, the commutative property there is that it doesn't matter which order you multiply in. That is not true with matrices. What you're supposed to notice with this example is that we multiply G and H, and H and G in a different order, it completely changes everything. First of all, in part A, you ended up with a 2 by 2, and in part B, you ended up with a 3 by 3. They are totally different answers. So the commutative property does not apply when you're multiplying matrices. So now, um, you can try to do your step number 4. And then we have one last example to kind of um, represent the um, um, associated property or the distributed property. Um, we have here J times K plus L versus JK plus KL. So what we're trying to see here is um, if you take K and L and add them, add those, that matrix together first and then times it by J, what will you get? So we're going to do that. I'm going to get 2, negative 5, 4, negative 2. This is the J matrix. And if I add K and L together, if I take these two and add them together, I can go 3 minus 4. Remember from the previous lesson that we were adding um, the corresponding elements. So 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Uh, 2 and negative 1 is going to be 1. Negative 1 and 3 is going to be 2 and 3 and 0 is going to be 3. So what I've done is I've actually um, added K and L together first, and now I'm going to multiply J and K plus L. So they're both 2 by 2, so everything's going to be fine. And I'm going to go ahead and do that here. So I'm going to get 2 times negative 1 plus 4 times 2. Here I'm going to get negative 5 times negative 1 plus negative 2 times 2. Over here I'm going to get 2 times 1 plus 4 times 3 and then negative 5 times 1 plus negative 2 times 3. Okay, so I got my row 1, column 1 for this guy. I've got my row 1, column 2 for this guy. I've got my row 2, column 1 for here and my row 2, column 2 for here. So this is going to be negative 2, 8, 2, 12, negative 6, negative 5, positive 5, negative 4. So my final answer will be 8 minus 2 is 6, 5 minus 4 is 1, 2 plus 12 is 14, and negative 5 and negative 6 is negative 11. So we get 6, 14, 1, negative 11. And so now the question becomes, is JK plus KL the same thing? If I were to distribute the J, I would get J times K plus um, J times L. This should actually be JL. Let me just confirm that really quick. Um, yes, JK plus JL. So first and foremost, let me correct my, this should have said JL. We are basically distributing J times K, J times L, and you get that. So in this case, we want to see if I multiply J times K and J times L, and then add them together, will I get the same thing? That's the question. So um, first, I want to kind of erase some of this because it's going to be in my way. We already got our answer over there. I'll leave the answer there for future reference. But for now, we want to take... Um, And do J, K. So here's J and K. So I'm going to multiply those first. So 2 times 3 plus 4 times negative 1. Negative 5 times 3 plus negative 2 times negative 1. Then we're going to go 2 times 2 plus 4 times 3. And negative 5 times 2 plus negative 2 times 3. All right, so we've got 2, negative 5, 4, negative 2, um, 3, 3, negative, negative 1, 2, 4, negative 5, negative 2, 2, 2, 3, 3. Okay, everything's good there. And then we're going to get 6, negative 4, negative 15, positive 2, 4, 12, 
negative 10, and negative 6. So we're going to get 6 minus 4 is 2, 4 plus 12 is 16, negative 15 plus 2 is negative 13, and this is going to be negative 16. So this is just what JK equals. This is our JK right here. Now we want to try JL. So for JL, we're going to do a very similar thing, only we're going to multiply J and L. So let's try to do that here. We're going to get 2 times negative 4 plus 4 times 3. Then we're going to get negative 5 times negative 4 plus negative 2 times 3. Then we're going to get 2 times negative 1 plus 4 times 0, and then negative 5 times negative 1 plus negative 2 times 0, and see what that gets us. So this is going to be negative 8, 12, negative 2, 0, 0, positive 5, negative 6, and 20. So negative 8 and 12, so 12 minus 8 is 4. Um, negative 2 and 0 is negative 2. 20 minus 6 is 14. And then 5 plus 0 is 5. So this is my JL, this is my JK. And so the very last step is to actually add them together and see if we have the same answer. So 2 and 4 is 6. Um, 16 minus 2 is 14. Um, negative 13 and positive 14 is going to be 1. And negative 6, sorry, negative 16 plus 5 is going to be negative 11. And we can see that we got the same answer, 6, 14, 1, negative 11 each time. So we can confirm that the distributive property still holds for um, matrices. So now you can try this very last example. And once you have done that, you will have completed your notes for this lesson, and I will see you in class, and thank you for watching.